I hope everybody had a nice Christmas because it's December 26, 2016, and it's time to review five of the most outrageous, infuriating, or just plain baffling things that have happened lately. It's your Face Palm 5. Let's count them down. Number one, Trump's new pet, Newt. Last week, Newt Gingrich, advisor to the president-elect and twin brother Ernie Keebler never talks about, told NPR that Donald Trump is phasing out his drain the swamp slogan. Since the election, Trump has packed his incoming administration with lobbyists and Wall Street executives, so Gingrich might be forgiven for assuming that draining the swamp was not a priority. But two days later, Gingrich received a call from Trump and subsequently posted a video announcing he'd made a boo-boo. It turns out Trump is going to drain the swamp, despite all evidence to the contrary. Take care, Newt, lest you displease the glorious leader. Remember, when Trump says something that isn't true, keep repeating it until people either believe it or stop complaining about it. It's worked smashingly so far. Number two, Kasich bans Ohio cities from raising minimum wage. Last week, Ohio Governor John Kasich signed a bill which blocks cities and local governments within the state from raising their local minimum wage to a level above that of the state minimum, which is currently $8.10 an hour. The bill will prevent the city of Cleveland from raising its minimum wage. Residents there were scheduled to vote next year on a measure that, if passed, would have raised the city's minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2021. The current living wage for a single person in Ohio, by the way, is estimated to be $9.58 an hour, just in case anyone cares. Number three, O'Reilly defends white supremacy. Last week, Bill O'Reilly argued that the left wants to abolish the Electoral College in order to diminish the political power of the white establishment. I mean, he's not wrong. The Democratic Party and the left in general is much more racially and ethnically diverse than the right, so supplanting the white establishment makes sense from a practical point of view, if nothing else. But even if the Electoral College were done away with, Congress is still 80% white, and us white folks still benefit significantly from racial disparities in education, law enforcement and criminal justice, wages, popular culture, you name it. In other words, the white establishment isn't going anywhere in your lifetime, Bill, so don't worry your megalithic alabaster head over it, okay? Number four, white man assaults black child, police arrest child's mother instead. Speaking of racial disparities in law enforcement, last week a black woman in Fort Worth, Texas was arrested after she called police to report a white man for choking her seven-year-old son, who was also black. Her arrest followed a tense confrontation with the responding officer who antagonized her and ultimately assaulted her, and he also used his taser to threaten her children, including her daughter, who was standing nearby recording the entire incident with her phone. In the video at one point, the mother can be heard telling the officer that the white man who allegedly choked her son had no right to put his hands on her child, to which the officer responds, why not? And in case you're wondering what the seven-year-old child did to deserve being choked, allegedly, by the white guy, according to his mother in the video, he threw some paper on the ground. The mother has since been released from police custody along with her daughter. The officer has been placed on restricted duty pending an internal investigation of the incident. And as far as I can discover, the white man who allegedly choked the seven-year-old child to kick off this entire incident has not been arrested. Go figure. Number five, Trump recommits to Muslim ban. Following the assassination of Russia's ambassador to Turkey by a gunman who shouted God is great in Arabic and a deadly attack on Berlin's Christmas market by a man with possible ties to radical Islamist groups, Trump was asked by reporters if he still intends to ban all Muslim immigration to the U.S. His response, you've known my plans all along and they've proven to be right, which means yes, I think. Sorry, I'm still adjusting to Trump ease. I've grown accustomed to having a president who is lucid and articulate these past eight years. 
Has it really been eight years already? Are we sure? <sighs> Shit. That's five. Catch you later. Hey folks, I hope you found this video worthwhile. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron of this channel for as little as $1 a month. But if you pledge at a level of $5 a month or higher, you get yourself a shout out at the end of the Face Palm 5, just like John Dwyer, who is my new $5 or higher patron that I have acquired since the last Face Palm 5 episode. So thank you so much, John. Thanks to all of you who have become patrons at whatever level you pledge. And thanks to all of you for watching. I'll see you next time.